Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. Today I will discuss week 5 assignment 5 answers of the course Introduction to Internet of Things with the proofs. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. I will upload every week assignment of this course in this channel. So please do subscribe. So the first question is why interoperability in IoT is an issue. So the answer will be option A that IoT nodes are heterogeneous hence they communicate in different protocols and here is the proof that global heterogeneity that the current challenges in IoT. Now question number 2 UNPSC provides a solution for which of the following. So the answer will be option C that is classification. So here you can see that UNSPSC and classification. Okay. Now question number 3, Arduino development boards are equipped with microcontroller processes which are dash open source with respect to the, their hardware configuration. So the answer will be option B. Now here you can see the proof that is Arduino ID, it is an open source software. Now question number 4, translation of inter-device communications forms an important part in solving devices interoperability. So the answer will be option A, that is true. Now question number 5, with respect to the different wireless communication protocols such as GP, Bluetooth, GPRS, 6, Low, WPN and uh, Wi-Fi, which of the following terms can be associated with? The answer will be heterogeneity. Okay, that is option B. Now question number 6, which among the following are valid Arduino data types? Here you can see that Arduino supports following data, that is void, int, boolean, byte. So the answer will be all of the given. Now question number 7, what is the purpose of delay function in Arduino programming? So the answer will be option D, to make the program go to sleep for a certain duration. Here you can see that delay function is one of the most common time manipulation function, which provide a delay of specified time. Okay. Now question number 8, consider the following Arduino code. So it is the code that is hello world. Now str.2 uppercase will give hello world all in capital letter. Okay. So the option C will be the answer. Now question number 9, what does the following code snippet do in interfacing a servo motor with the Arduino mega board in servo pin 12? So the answer will be option A that is declares the pin for connecting servo motor. Here you will see that in servo pin it is used for uh, connecting the servo motor uh, okay uh, now it declares the pin now question number 10 state true or false the verify option in the arduino id checks the code for compilation error here you can see that the verify checks the code for compilation error okay so uh, option a that is true will be the answer now question number 11 the tool used to select a particular compote for connecting arduino to a serial connector is called a sketch it will be false because sketch is a program coded in arduino id okay now question number 12, in general with respect to any sensor that can be connected to an Arduino board, which of the following is correct? So the answer will be option B, that is the sensor will have at least 3 pin, VCC ground and data pin. Here you can see that uh, this is VCC pin which is connected to 3.3 volt, it is data pin and another pin is ground pin. Okay. Now question number 13, you connect the uh, v plus VCC pin of a sensor with which of the corresponding pin of Arduino board, so the answer will be 3 volt. Okay. Now question number 14, servo is a type of actuator. Okay, here you can see the motor actuators, uh, servo motor is a type of motor actuator. Now question number 15, while uploading a sketch to an Arduino board, which of the following should be checked? So the answer will be both board and serial board, that is option C. Here you can see, we'll set the board and code type, then we can verify and upload the code. Okay, upload the sketch. Now please submit the answer and uh, subscribe my channel if you get some help from this video. Thank you for watching the video, see you in the next video.